Alright there, ladies and gentlemen, John Sweetpea here. I hope you've all had a really good Christmas. And now it is time for part 3 of DL Chan's campaign. And a slight twist from what I expected, she's at the Battle of Heifei today. A truly impressive enemy, so that is soon say. Ha! You young pup! I have Lu Bu at my side! We shall destroy him! <laughs> um, that scowl can be interpreted in any way you wish, I suppose. It seems that Dong Zhuo underestimates Sun Se in any event. So, instead of being at the Battle of Wong Castle as I expected, Dio Chan is part of Dong Zhuo's forces at Heifei, fighting Wu. And Wu being on the right side this time, for a change. <laughs> Well, actually, not a change, but nice to see that they're not the opposite side. Anyway, I'll shut up now. Just here's the introduction. Thanks to the efforts of the mighty Lu Bu and the graceful Diao Chan, Cao Cao was eliminated at Guangdu. Diao Chan becomes known as the Enchantress of the Battlefield, and she now has the full trust of Dong Zhuo. But still not recognized as a formidable threat compared to Lu Bu. The Enchantress of the Battlefield, it's a, quite a title there. Dong Zhuo is now ready to begin his campaign for unification. He first sets his eyes on the region south of the Changjian River. However, this is the domain of the little conqueror, Sun Se. Okay. Sensing Dong Zhuo's movements, Sun Se mobilizes his army and sets up camp at Heifei. It is not Diao Chan's wish to fight the enemies of Dong Zhuo, but out of respect to the greater plan, she knows that she must. Hmm, so she's still caught between a rock and a hard place. She doesn't want to fight anyone who opposes Dong Zhuo, but at the same time she can't really um, sort of join Wu, I guess. So, unit information wise, wow, he has six sub-officers. You think that's enough sub-officers there, Dong Zhuo? And there's Lu Bu on that critical famous bridge area. <laughs> this brings back a lot of painful memories. And there's us, looks like we'll be fighting in the forest area to the southwest. There's Zhang Liao, he'll be joining us. And there's Le Wu Le Bu Gao Shu Wrong. Mm, genetics on the right side, I'll keep an eye on that. And for the Wu forces, we have Sun Se, who appears to be the commander of this battle. Not Sun Quan, surprisingly, but Sun Se. He has four sub officers. There's Lu Meng. He's normally supposed to be near the forest, but they put him here this time, I guess. There's Sheng Pu, who will be in the village, a bit further ahead. And looks like we'll be taking out Ling Tong first. And there's Zhu Sheng. Now, it appears there's only five Wu officers, but they've got a lot of heavy hitters they can call for backup, not least Gar Ning. Sure, we'll be seeing them eventually. Conditions pretty simple. Defeat Sunsei. Don't let Dong Zhuo get overrun. It shouldn't be too difficult since I know what how his map flows. At least in Dynasty Warriors 3 anyway. It might be different this time around. Unfortunately, weapon wise, we still haven't got a second tier weapon, which is going to make this battle a bit longer. Potentially. But we got some decent stats at least. Faster Muzu charge and a bit more meat from recovery. Otherwise, I think we'll stick to the same build as last time because I think we're going to need a bit of speed later on in this map. You can sort of see us being very defensive later on since most of our defenders are generics. But it depends on the morale goes and who shows up. So again, HP, Elixir, Red Bear Saddle, Tiger, Amulet, and Tortoise. Bodyguard wise, hmm. Well, there's still four of them, they're still on the attack and they're still using the Crescent Blade, but... Hmm, do I stick with the defense or should I give them more attack? For the growth type this time. Hmm... Well, it's arguable we have enough defense already, so I think I'll actually change the growth type from now on and give them more attack for a bit. So, the defense is pretty solid, keep in mind that item's also going to reinforce their defense a bit. So I think I'm going to get them a bit more attacking so they can do some damage. So I'm going to try it out for this time and see what happens. 
Other than that, it's uh, time to start the fight, so let's get to it. I also really liked Matthew T. Brawl's comment, who basically said he likes my item weapon setup. I appreciate that. So here we are, hey Fei. You take the center! Stop the advance of the enemy! The rest of you strike through and find Sun Se! I will crush this upstart, Sun Se! Okay, I'm trying to get into the habit of not interrupting character introductions from now on. Hmm, where's the sub officer down here? I think we found him. Oh no, we haven't. We found Wing Tong himself. Being a bit aggressive here, but screw it. We might as well give it a try. So, this is an interesting kind of battle, really. A lot of things can happen in it, as you've seen in the past. I have... Okay. Ugh, take that. I think a lot of things can happen on this mission in the past, so... You know, you all will remember my struggles I had playing as uh, Zahun Dun against Sun Quan's forces. And the things that can happen when you play as the Wu side. So I expect this to be quite an interesting little map, actually, to be honest. What do you got? Picking some ass here. Picking some names, hopefully. Oh, yeah, and another interesting thing. Someone pointed out this Kai Wengi is apparently a slightly um, ill named Kai Wenji, arguably. He was also a Dynasty Warrior 7 um, officer as well, so my entire, except for maybe... Oh, did I mention that last time? I don't know if I remember. But anyway, I'll mention it again anyway, so it's kind of interesting how the games build up. I mean, I guess if you're like a long-term fan of the series and you sort of see like characters that are sort of generics and then in the next game they're uh, not generics and stuff like that. Wow, they push on in the north. We're gonna have to go and help out, I think. Or flank attack. So it's kind of interesting to see, like, over the games, right? You see all these generic officers, and then in the future games, they become their own characters. Like, Sal Ren, for example, he was a playable officer in uh, the next game. So it's kind of interesting how, if you're a long term fan of the series, you sort of gradually see all these generics become playable over a period of time as Kawhi and Omega Force develop them. Um, Character traits, weapon types, attacks, whatever for them. Yeah, there's Sheng Pu. Let's take him out of the equation as well. Doing pretty well so far. Oh no, archers. Oh boy. The one thing I forgot about Wu on this map. Archers. This is the worst map for Wu archers. Nice interrupt there. Brilliant. That takes care of those guys. The Wu Archers and this map are infamous. They basically have an absolute stockpile of them right at the back. So unless Sunsei wants to come out and be aggressive, we may have to deal with a lot of them. Hmm. So I don't wonder if I should have had bow defenses somewhere. Oh well. We'll see what we've got. Hopefully our high health will uh, help a bit. And if we get into combo, just the damage factor is nothing else. Not really I won't have to do any more combos until I get another weapon, I think. Alright, plus two, good. Those guys will retreat, so Shank, so already we've dealt with two officers, which is pretty good. There's Jiang Quinn. I think he's one of Sun Se's personal guard. It's not all. These archers are a much bigger threat. Oh no, Sh Oh yeah, these guys are the fun him who's already defeated. Another nice interrupt. My bodyguards are starting to pull their own weight. Oh, it's Wu Meng's subordinates. Alright. So Wu Meng will probably be our next target then. Oh, bodyguard deadlock. It will win. Ah, oh, fortunately he's a bit too tough for my uh, female bodyguards and deadlocks. But nice to see the bodyguards finally starting to pull the... Oh, uh oh. There's Lu Bu. No cutscene it seems. I'll still oh no you do not nice try buddy you're out of here all right ah god dang these aggressive AI guys oh no we ambush party just gone Ning showing up how do they get so close whose fault is this yours is there no one to help me yeah I'm coming back chill Oh no, did they Oh no, they did send an officer. 
Oh, it's Taisa Chi doing a very different role. He's, Taisa Chi's normally in the middle of the map in Dynasty Warriors 3, but here he's gone out on aggressive. I thought it would be Gan Ning, actually, but nope. Said it's Taisa Chi. I guess we were doing some ambush trickery today. So let's knock off Mr. Dual Rods. I'll crush anyone who stands in my way. I played a lot of Taisa Chi in Dynasty Warriors 4. He was one of my main characters. He had a very good play style back then. I haven't touched him at all in the third game. I just remember that we were the. Oh. Is this the great, renowned General Lu Bu? The rumors have been kind to you. You fool, mock me? Sun Tse and all his men, including you, are now going to feel my wrath. Don't sound too emotional there, Wu Bu. Wu Meng's taunts. I don't think Wu Meng really had to taunt Wu Bu all that much. He just had to say, yeah, you suck. I think his uh, honor would probably take care of the rest there. Got him. And that's the end of Taisa Chi. I shall not die here. No, Zhang Liao will pick you off later. So he's out. I think he's a. Oh, no, he's not. I thought he was going to sub officer, but no, nope, he's one of Sun Se's sub officers. And he shall perish. <laughs> the fools, they fell for it. Oh, no. Blue Boo, you fool. You fell for the enemy ploy. What is this? What is Saturday morning cartoon to him? Beer? Tear? Woo Boo, you fool. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Maybe we should go meet up with Wu Boo in the center. <laughs> God. It's almost like Saturday morning cartoon tier, that sort of. Oh no, Wu Boo, you fell for it. Ah. So, oh, that reminds me actually. I should be reading these comments by Harrison Smith, or comment, I should say. He basically gave me some advice on the uh, mission ahead. He basically said that um, ahead of me is the Dim Sun, which I think is an inferior I just was. And on the northwest east road opposite the enemy general is the Muzu Wine. And apparently I need to be prepared for ambushes, which I dealt with. And I need, oh god, I need to go over there. Sod Wu Boo. Sorry Wu Boo. I think we're going to have to head over there. They seem to be kicking ass on the east side. They really took out one guy over there and they may take out another if we're not careful. And apparently Dale Chan has a unique cutscene when she approaches the broken bridge. So we'll be heading to that in a minute. So thanks to Harrison Smith. I wish I'd read them before going into this battle. Again, but whatever. I'm sure it would have played out the same way even if I'd been informed. Alright, so looks like Zhu Sheng's getting a bit ahead of himself, Mr. Generic. And the ticker is again failing to update itself in time. Oh no, not more Wu ambush parties. Not now. The enemy has taken the center. I think. That's debatable. Oh no, we're losing trouble. Oh no, we have to be careful now. Things might be looking up for Wu. Well, he's out of the picture. That should, that's put them out back to half. Alright, that should equalize the battle a bit. So, oh god, I think two have shown up there. Oh boy. Gan Ning and Zhu Tai. Oh, good. It's not the eight star Gan Ning. Because if it was the eight star Gan Ning. It's not that. Oh, wow. An ambush party that showed up a little too early, I think. <laughs> it looks like a few of us went charging ahead and. Yeah, ambush party. That's not Wu Boo, is it? Uh oh. It is Wu Boo. Oh, no. We now have a difficult choice. Hmm. I think Wu Boo's going to need their help slightly more than our guys in the middle, to be honest. Oh, God. And, and Dong Zhuo's moving out as well, being way too aggressive. I think if we eliminate Zhu Tai, that'll help in the middle, so we'll take care of him real quick. I'm not going to bother with combos today, because we've already established in the last video, we can't really do any good ones yet. Oh, a bit of walking bolt, anyway. Ah, 
Stop it, Zutai! Who also becomes a playable officer in the fourth game. Alright, let's finish him quickly. Yeah, he's out of here. Right, that should help in the middle. Morale's now above half, which is good. Just check some boxes, nothing. But I think Wu Boo needs all the assistance. I guess we're going to assist him. I'll take care of Archie's only got one hit left. Come on, Wu Boo, you're the most powerful officer. Hold out! We must fight well. <laughs> Just, oh, fucking archers! God damn, we were probably sending the archers forward. Alright. Oh no, here's a loop. Now, this is where things can get. Oh no, more archers! Ugh. Yep. Rumble, rumble, hate archers. I will not let you through. Try if you dare. Hope we're getting double cuts in here. I've heard about you. This should be fun. This will not be fun. Not when you have archers on your side, anyway. You need to get rid of the archers first. They're the more likely to screw me over. It might actually be slightly beneficial to keep um, Wu Meng on that horse, actually, because... Oh no, there's more archers around here. I need to perhaps... Wow, Wu Meng's kicking some ass here. It seems that on the... Oh. Actually, I'm going to let you fight. I need to take care of these guys. These guys are the bigger threat. Wu Meng seems to be able to handle himself anyway, so that's good. I mean, all it will take is one of these archers to interrupt me during a combo and low health, and it's game over. Although I'm sure I don't need to remind anyone who follows my channel how dangerous archers could be. You were all sinned in action. Oh god. And even now I should take care of him first. Right. Time for some true Muzu antics, we think. Oh. To be very careful after you get... Oh wow, we may have got some decent defense here. Wuzun's actually pulled further back. We have a chance to isolate. Well, we did have a chance to isolate him. Now we gotta be careful here. Yeah, I'm gonna take that health. I'm a little bit worried now that Wu Meng. Uh, Wu Zun is in fight. Especially since. Ooh, double attack. Oh, for Pete's sake. Get out of the way. Man, it looks, what a defense. Then again, my weapon's not so great. Ooh, my bodyguard pulling off a Muzu track there. Oh wow! They're actually out Muzuing frigging Wu Meng. That's pretty powerful bodyguards right there. Come on. Do your stuff. Ah, oh, stupid bodyguard interrupted. I'm not gonna hit his bodyguard. Much more annoying. Get out of here. Where'd the health? Ah, where'd the health drop? I know that was a ah, full recovery. I think I might have broken my Muzu out a bit prematurely there. Leave that health for a minute. Yeah, getting lost. Wow, we're actually doing pretty well. Come on. Oh boy. Now for the long scrap. The bridge is out. My only chance. I must make it. What? Why am I over here now? No, I don't want to be over here! Oh god! The game literally forced me to move forward! <laughs> what the fuck? You wasn't in any... Really? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why was that cutscene even used then? I wasn't in any danger! Oh my god, I can't believe that! I was thinking, okay, this is a bit weird, and then it actually moved me! Damn it, game! I was fine where I was! Let me be! I need to finish these guys off! Oh wow, Wubu's taking him such a kicking. He's nearly... In the time... Ah, oh, these... Get... Stuffed! Just because you have all the deep. Oh, Wubu doesn't have the same defense. Ah, oh, no, no, no! Do not let them recover! Yes! Take that! Pest! Too young to die. Oh. No, you're not. If you want to die, then don't go on a battlefield with Wu Boo. Oh wow, Wu Boo's nearly dead. Wu Ming must hit a lot harder than we give him credit for. All right, let's stun him. Bring the combo on him. Can we need to keep him. We need to. Oh, we got the good combo. Nice. 
Okay, there's a while to beat Wu Meng, so we're going to have to uh, keep him up in the air as much as possible. So we'll just beat him down. This will take too long, hopefully. Oh, man, if I had a Muzu then. Oh, well. I'll sell for finishing him off. Alright, good. I cannot believe this. Well, you put up a good fight in defense terms, but unfortunately not good enough for me. The Enchantress of the Battlefield. There's a reason why I had to pick the correct horse, by the way. This is Wu Boo's horse. Oh, there's no difference. Oh, okay, that's interesting. I thought there'd be a difference, in all honesty, because, you know, it's you're not class enough to ride red hair. But I guess it doesn't matter in this game so much. Alright, so now that we've dealt with Wu Meng, it looks like... Oh, Gan Ning's still over there. I think we we'll have to take care of him. Wow. His health as well. In before Gan Ning gets taken out off screen by the time I get there. You can see there's a 55 to the health. Meat Bomb Recovery basically gives you a bit extra bonus, which can be useful. So if you can get all the way up to 50, or whatever the highest you can get at, and then you can pretty much recover 100 with a single bun. The most common drop from a uh, cannon fodder. Meanwhile, Gunning awaits. Let's see if he's powered up or not. Boy, are you unlucky running into me like this? Depends on whether or not you're powered up or not. If you are, this will be. Oh, you're just. Nah, he won't be a threat. Even though you have one of the most powerful moves in the game, you will fall. I will not let you beat me that easily. Finish it! Oh, I dropped him. Damn it. Luckily, he let his guard down. If he had put out his true Muzu then, that could have been devastating. I didn't know you were this tough. Let's kill him. Alright, and all that's left now is to get past the bazillion and one archers. Oh boy. Now the real fun starts in this mission. So, I'm going to ask the same question I asked everyone in the uh, my Doom Let's Play of One Monster. And that is, what did you all get for Christmas this year? Did you get some nice presents? Or did you get to spend some quality family time? Or both? Myself, I got a Kindle Fire as my main present. I'm not exactly sure what the Kindle Fire is capable of, and I haven't really tried it yet. Might have a go at it this evening. But, yeah, it seems a pretty cool present. Not particularly something I was asking for, but I'm not going to complain about it whatsoever. Just have to figure out what it can do. Oh, now this is where things will get tricky. And for those who don't remember, well, I've said this at the beginning of the video, and I'll say it again. The Wu literally packed a million archers around this area. It's very infamous for it. Something about Hei Fei and archers. The castle has a ton of them if you play on the wayside, and again here. Just be very careful. A well timed pack of crossbow bolts. Oh, two seconds. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Wow, strange with Deadlock. Wasting no time here, that's for sure. Wow, my defense is going up if I'm, getting, if I'm able to take on these guys' punishments. In fact, I think I'd start from this battle. I guess those stats really do apply straight away, because I was taking a beating from these guard captains before, and now I'm handling them pretty comfortably. Right. Keep my bodyguards alive. Now we need to push on and build the gates. The three gates that are down here. Mm. Let's pick up those arrows real quick. Right, where, where did I park my steed? Ah, there he is. Or she is. He, she. Not sure of the John. Not just that we sure of the gender of red hair. Oh, you bloody bodyguards! Ah, you got you cost me my progress. Get out of the way. I'm trying to cut off this massive Wu army. Right, let's go. Now this is going to be very risky. Again. Oh come on! Bodyguards are blocking me all the time. Here. This is ridiculous. Enough already. Let me pass. Right, let's go. Otherwise, we will be here all day, flying through the many, many forces of Wu. 
do not want that. So we got three gates to close. One of them far away from Sunsei and his henchmen, and sadly two of them way too close. Still, the further we take out these captains, the quicker the AI will push through and save us on work, hopefully, which would be nice. I need to try and combo the gate captain so I get the bonus on him. Oh, that, I knew it! That frigging major was going to put me off. I tried my best to combo him. I just knew he was going to stab me in the back and interrupt the combo. I'm trying to get the plus two defense. Never an easy task. All it takes is one test in the... Oh, well. I'll see if I can game with the... Come on, five, six. No, oh, I dropped him. Get the crappy plus one. Oh, well. Wow, some of them have... I was going to say no morale, but it's not Sunsei's unit. Alright. And here's one of his subordinates to deal with. I think there's about three left. Okay, not defense enough to take on this guard captain's attacks, but more than sufficient to take on some of the others. So I also got a comment last time about um, Dynasty Warriors 8 and 7 and some people saying why I should just get Dynasty Warriors um, 8 instead of 7. Which I did actually reply to from uh, 4 Egg 1. And basically I might consider getting 8 and 7 but the thing is is that I want to play 7 first because as far as I can tell they're sort of similar-ish and I kind of need to see if I'm still interested in the modern sort of day version of Dynasty Wars because the uh, the newer versions, 7, 8, or actually 3, were radically different from the uh, older Dynasty Warriors game they used to play. And I've played and I've played 6 a bit and I did not like 6 at all for some reason. I just really did not like it. It seemed pretty cool at first, but then I think I struggled at the mission with um what was it? The Guan Du mission. I just couldn't beat it. It just seemed very, very difficult. From what I remember, I just kind of didn't like it. And that's when I, and that's when I first fell out with Dynasty Warriors games. You know, once six came around, and even before, I bought five but never played it. So I kind of just burnt myself out on the Dynasty Warriors games at some point when I was around the time the first batch came out. So the reason I'm not going to buy eight is I'd have to play seven and see if I can get very invested in it. You know, just play it anyway because it looks like a fun game. And uh, then after that, I'll just see if um, I enjoy it. And if I do, then maybe I'll pick up 8 later down the line. And Warriors are actually free. But the first task, obviously, is I need to get my PlayStation 3 set up for streaming in the first place. Since I still need to actually get round to that. Probably something I'll do in the new year. Get off me. Twit. That combo just bugs me. Wish I had more defense. Here's Han Dang. He wanna become a playable officer for I think he was only made a playable officer in seven actually. So he remained a generic for quite some time. So an item drop from him. And that's only one more subordinate left, I think. Seriously, a private is making me go off stun? What the heck? That just ain't right. Just ain't right at all. And I promise that next year I will try to get um, 7 up and going. I'll stop being so lazy, I'll actually take the time to get 7 on my computer somehow. It's not a case it's not working, it's just a case I've been very lazy and since having my dual monitors, which I bought partially in mind just to play Dynasty Warriors um, 7, I've been mainly using it just for the dual monitor PC games for my live stream, which has been great. Of that. Okay. Oh. Good. This should be fun. First time since some Santa horse, or as a commander for that matter. All right, these archers have gotta go first. For all else, these archers must be defeated. Ah, fucking thing to range. Get out of it. It's actually sometimes beneficial to keep them on the horses because at least then they can't pull off the full combo list. But they seem to do a lot of damage on horses some of the time. So 
especially with the Muzu strikes. Oh god, where the hell did that come from? I don't think so, pal. I'm not getting defeated at this stage. Some weird. Wow, it can Muzu come up pretty viciously. Don't you dare beat up my bodyguards, you jerk. Alright, I think his archers have been defeated. It's pretty quick, some say. Wu Boo's entering the fight now. That shouldn't take too long. Hopefully. Come on, Wu Boo, my future husband. Let us defeat Sunsei together. Wow, he's actually focusing on Wu Boo here. I think Sunsei may become distracted by the wrong target. Uh oh. I don't want him to combo me into a Muzu. Oh, I would say that was the end, but I dropped him. Damn it. Oh, don't hit me with two Muzu, please. That'd be bad. Ah, you fell for it. Bye bye, Sunsei. This is it. I guess it's not so bad. <laughs> well, that was trickier than I anticipated. But nevertheless, victory is ours. Whew. Well, that was quite the mission there. So, we eliminated the Wing Tong pretty early, under a minute, in fact. And then strolled to an easy win on Sheng Pu. Unfortunately, Zhu Long was taken out. Kaiser Chi showed up for some ambushes, but fell quickly to my maces. Then Zhu Sheng, the overconfident generic, showed up. Gan Nang, Zhu Tai, and Wu Zun appeared. I tried to destroy Wu Bu, but Zhu Tai was taken out, and I went over to assist. Was dragged over by a cutscene bridge. And then Wu Meng and Wu Zun, sorry, everyone's ambushed him, not Gan Ning. Gan Ning fell. And then we. Then I was interrupted, and then I went into the Wu camp, and I didn't even take out all the gate captains, actually. I only took out two. And a bit of difficulty getting over to the other gate captain, but eventually took him out. And then before finishing the job, Sunsei decided to interrupt and save his gate captain's life. Just under 23 minutes. Right. Ah, good, finally. The next weapon, the Great Mace. Ooh, another Great Mace. Hmm, one with more stats, I think. Could be useful. Discarding, discarding, discarding. Nothing special there. Nothing special for the bodyguards either, since they're using spears for the moment. I will be game to use other weapons on later missions, though, just to get the item upgrade. Well, defense, don't need that. Has everybody got better? And thankfully, none of the bodyguards actually died again. Although some say did his best to try and kill them. 14 worthy opponents, so a good score there. Should hopefully get some bodyguard progress. Hopefully. Ah, they become fighters at last. An AI upgrade. Yes, and a growth point on attack. Good. And we become a second one into general. Great. So that's all for the bodyguards. They finally get an AI upgrade to fighters, which will make them much more useful. And they get a bit more attack. Very nice. I think we'll focus on the attack for a bit in future missions for a bit to get the aggressiveness up. And then maybe a bit of wife and Muzu. And up to front general. This is only the third mission. Ooh, we topped the points ranking by a good 700 points. Not really scoring high on KO rankings, but then again, I'm just kind of getting to the officers. I'm not really wasting time with the uh, uh, other soldiers. I'm just getting down to business. That's probably why my KO rankings are so low. And we did okay on the score. Clear time. So then, since Dale Chan's missions are now unpredictable, I'm not going to call the next mission. I'm just going to see what it is instead. Battle of Mount Ding Jun. Oh boy. This will be fun. Is this going to be against Shu? Yep. It is. Ah, a mission I've not seen since my live stream of my uh, Yao Xiaoyun special. And now finally the Let's Play version of it. Hey! So then, what did you all think of DL Chan's battle at Hei Fei? Did you like it more than the uh, original Dynasty Warriors 3 mission? Or did you think the original mission had a bit more punch to it? And what do you think will happen next time at the Battle of Mount Ding Jun? A map I haven't played on my Let's Play yet, but have covered on live stream. 
And whose side will Diel Chung go for, Dong Zhuo or Lu Bu at the end? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I shall catch you all next time for part 4 of Diel Chun's campaign. Farewell Dynasty Warriors fans, farewell.